Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, electroscope out of just uh, various pieces, bits and pieces that you can find around the house. This is a glass jar. I have uh, two little pieces of aluminum foil that I cut the same way, just into a little round shape like this. And I put a little hole in one end right here. So two of those, one, two. Uh, some copper wire, this is 14 gauge. Um, the thicker the better, uh, this seems to work fine. I've soldered this end right here, and I've soldered this end right here. That's just to get rid of the sharp edges. Um, and then I've spiraled this end right here, like this, just to make a large surface area. I'll show you what we do with that in a minute. Just some black tape right here, electrical tape. And right here, this is actually taken from a lid, like this. This is a uh, container from a health food store. It's a plastic lid, so any piece of plastic will do. I've taken a uh, plastic tube and shoved it through the lid um, and hot glued it right here so it's solid with the lid. Uh, a piece of straw will do. This is some tube that I got from a hobby shop. Okay, now to assemble it. First thing I'll do is I'll take the copper wire and I'll stick it through the tube here. And there's one thing you have to make sure is that it'll fit through the tube. There we go. That should be a good distance right there. And uh, at this end right here, I'll just form it into a little hook. Let's make it into a little round hook like that. And then I'll take the uh, one piece of aluminum foil and I'll put it on the hook. Remember I made a little hole on one side here, so just carefully slip it in there. Take the other piece of aluminum foil, doesn't matter which side's shiny and which side's flat. Carefully put that through without breaking the hole. There you go. Smooth them out. And you can see that they're now touching together at the end of the hook. I have some black electrical tape which I've already cut and put on here. So I'll just take the jar now, slip this over the top, bend down the electrical tape, and I'll take this last piece of electrical tape. And this is just to reinforce the, the other tape there, just to make sure that it holds on well and will last me a good long time. And uh, just for uh, convenience sake, I'll just bend this down right here. I like that. It's easy to use that way. And it's done, believe it or not. Okay, now the next step is to test it. That's what this piece of vinyl is for. It's just a piece of uh, vinyl that's actually taken from blinds window blinds and uh, watch what happens down here when I move this piece close to this edge watch what happens to the aluminum there you go you can see the aluminum spreads apart let's take something a little better here I have a old vinyl record that should have a bigger charge on it there you go, you can see that aluminum foil, the two pieces of aluminum foil really spread apart in that case. So it works. Now of course my favorite question, why does it work? And the reason it works is uh, when you rub your hand against a piece of vinyl like this, uh, electrons from your hand are actually being transferred to the vinyl. Uh, you can't just touch it, you actually have to have physical motion like that, actual friction. And uh, so the because the electrons are going to the vinyl, the vinyl becomes more negative and your hand becomes more positive. Um, now, when you move the vinyl close to the electroscope, the big surface here, there's a good charge on there. Because there's a lot of electrons right here, more than there are more negative than there is positive, um, that causes the electrons that are on this piece of copper to move down the copper away from the electrons that are on the vinyl. Um, like charges repel each other. So if we have a negative charge here, um, that's going to repel all the electrons which are negatively charged here down into the jar to the hook and then to the aluminum foil. Now both aluminum pieces of aluminum foil are going to begin to become negatively charged, both of them. And negative charges repel negative charges. So the aluminum foils repel each other. And that's how it works. Your air has to be very dry in order for this to work. I've had an air conditioner running, so my air is dry.